Hi everybody, and um, I'm making this video because I would like uh, for you to know how to use Class Dojo. So I'm going to go to Class Dojo, and this is Class Dojo. This is our school, and these are the classes. Now a lot of people have asked me how to use Class Dojo, and that's the purpose of my video. So I'm going to open um, a class. Of course, I'm going to go to Narmin's class. Um, I'm saying it as a joke. Um, I chose her first because she's right next to me and she asked me to do this video to help her so therefore I'm doing this video not just for uh, Ambreen, I'm also doing it for everybody else. So here we are, um, the internet is a bit slow so I'm going to log into a different kind of internet because it's slowing me down. Just give me a moment so I can log into my internet. Okay, there we go. That was my iPhone internet that I logged into. Perfect. I'm going to refresh the page so I can go into Class Dojo. And just give me a few moments. Internet is slow. There we go. It's going to open up now and we will be inside Class 4A. Now, a lot of people have asked me how to use uh, Class Dojo. It's really quite simple. Okay. There are two options. There are two ways to post things on uh, Class Dojo. Now, the things that the whole class needs to see, you put on Class Story. So I'm going to click on Class Story, you see? Now, as you can see, when you click on Class Story, you find the weekly plan there. And you also find the academic year calendar, and you also find the schedule. Why did I post it there? I'm the one who posted this. Because in the Class Story, we put things that everybody can see things that it's okay if everybody can see at the same time. However, be very, very careful. When you want to put grades or work of a student, you do not put it up on class story because you will have problems. Students do not want their work to be shown to other students and to other parents. Therefore, if you want to put work of, other, of uh, individual work of each student's, of each student, you're going to have to click on the student and then you're going to go to their portfolio. That is where you put um, individual work of each student. You see, as you can see here, you can say Al Mesfer portfolio. Al Mesfer's activity submissions, pictures, videos, drawings, texts will be added here after the teacher approval. Okay? So you see, there are two ways of putting work up. The first way is in class story. In class story, things that everyone can see go, go up. But if you want things that not everybody should see and only one student at, at a time should see, you go back to classroom, you click on the student, and then you go to the portfolio and you add the work secretly. This is the secret work. The grades go here in the portfolio. Remember, you cannot chat with parents. You cannot go near the messages. Do not go near the messages. That's my work. I'm always checking the messages. Okay? And that's it for today, and thank you for watching.